Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, we're on the side of a road. Found a new spot, so I'm um, gonna try this out. Gonna do a bit of freshwater native fishing again today and see what else we can get. Um, you may notice it's a different camera today. Yes, I'm filming on cars on a GoPro Hero 6, so let me know if you guys like it. This and let's get into the video. So we're just making our way down to little creek here before the traffic comes and they see my little secret spot and yes I've got bare feet on because I brought my brand new Yeezys and I didn't think I was going to go fishing but I had all my equipment in the car past, the, past this big river and I was like you know what let's go for a fish so that's what I'm doing today going down this new little spot hopefully doesn't look too sketchy. Now how am I gonna get down here? So yeah, pretty sketchy spot. Just the highways just above me. Now I'm just gonna slide down here and I think I should be all right without that cracking. It's fairly wet, so probably gonna slide. Oh, here we go. All right, we're at the new little spot here, guys. Looks pretty promising, just under a bridge. Follow the little cow track that the cows have already made. And then just work my way down here. Oh, it's pretty wet and muddy. Whew. Nice little spot here. Oh, spider webs. All right, spot looks pretty good. So I brought two rods today, uh, both spinning. We got the uh, little spinner bait on that one and then a surface cicada. So I'll hit the cicada up first, see if we can get anything and then I'll swap to the spinner bait. So I'll just put that rod just there. Yep. Now let's try the cicada lure. It's pretty windy today, so I'm not sure how well this lure is going to go, but we're going to try it anyway. There we go. First cast. Yeah, the wind's just picked up right now. So just with the spinner bait, I'm just using a steady retrieve on that one. There you go, that's what it looks like in the water. Nice juicy bass bait. Yep, first cast on the new spot with the spinner bait. Let's see how that one goes. pretty steep here so I wouldn't want to put a wrong foot in just slide right in it's pretty sketchy here it's like the winds just picked up and very steep here and still no fish so I'm gonna try again on this cicada lure cast it out yeah, it's not looking too good with all this wind here, but we'll give it a crack. You're joking, nothing on that log down there. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah, just been working all this bank here from that bridge over there. 
sorry about the wind noise. I'm still learning how to use one of these GoPros. Jeez, this weather's picked up so much. Well, here comes the rain now. What's this video going to be called? Fishing in like a hurricane. We just made it to a little bit of an opening now and as you can see it's probably about 10 or 12 foreign, huge, probably half a meter to a meter long of carp. Just directly out there. Not sure how I'm going to get back for this wet weather. But we're still going to go keep fishing. Here we go. First cast in the rain. Oh. Hey, now it's really pelting down. I ain't leaving until I get a fish. Even if I like accidentally hook one of these calf, that'd be sick. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, the cart was just chasing it. Oh, the cart was just chasing that one. This spot looks pretty promising. A lot of snags and overhanging trees. A lot of um, eel tail catfish nests in the water here too. Almost had a bite, here we go. Damn it, come back. Had a bite just then. Damn. Well guys, only one bite in this little spot here. I'm gonna keep trying. Bring him across there. I really need a fish. I'm not going until I get one. Now that I've had that bite. So the rain's sort of slowed down now. But I just got a bite just before, which is making me walk a little bit further. I was originally gonna go off the couple of last casts and you know how it is. Last casts like four or five, a couple of hundred. So I'm gonna keep going because I had a bite. I'm going to check this little spot out. Yep, here we go guys. Just caught onto a fish. Nope. Now the snags. Oh, there's a little bass. Here we go. Whoop. Camera wasn't recording, but I just hooked on to a nice bass. There we go. So just caught a nice little oh, here we go. First ever river bass, not a creek bass. River bass. It's a bit purple, this one. Out of there, one hook, and 
two hook. There we go. Nice Australian bass. He looks pretty healthy. Just in the river over here. Yo. So we'll just put this guy back in the water. the release sweet there we go guys first bass of the trip checking out this new river there we go let's go for another one nice little bass i think it was probably 20 centimeters i don't know i don't carry a ruler with me and i probably should but then again these little river creek bass are not that big but you never know i don't know i probably had about 17 cast or so in this area and then he just smacked it just directly where that where I cast it, just near the bank over there. Sure, there'll be a lot more bass up there, but I'm not sure how to get over there. Made my hopes a lot better catching fish in this creek. Well, this, sorry, river. It's actually a pretty big river where I am. But I'm just in a little, small little section of it. Just listening and looking for little blow-ups and disturbances in the water. It's kind of hard when there's a bit of water and leaves dropping down, but I got this. This is not good. Oh, no. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, yes, all good. Just a little tangle there, guys. Last thing you want when you're fishing. The grass in the real wood anyway. To give that a bit of a wash when I get home. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. So from that first spot where I got the bass, um, overfished that spot, so working my way down to a new little spot. Looks pretty promising down here. A big deepish pool and then a couple of shallow creeks, so um, I'll start this way first. How am I going to get down? I'll probably over here. Ah! There's a lot of these like spiky weeds that you can stand on. So this is living. Um, just finished a university um, session exam. So that's all over and then come out to celebrate and go for a fish. So how good's that? How nice is that look out there? Like the water just like zigzags around here and the weather's stopped. It's peaceful, so peaceful out here. Just had a, probably about a five centimeter or four centimeter bass just chasing that lure. I tell you what, these bass are so aggressive for their size. I wouldn't be surprised if I hooked one up with this big cicada lure. I'm excited to see what's past there. Looks pretty good out there. Would be a good spot for the spinnerbait. Just had a little blow up there, guys, just before.
Just had another hit on a probably a five, four centimeter bass. Wow. So So all this stuff here is apparently stinging nettle. It's really, really itchy when you, it gets on you. So try and avoid that. Ah, try. Oh, oh, damn it. Pulled too quick. Yeah, it was another four or five centimeter bass, damn. You know how you do, you pull your lure up at the, at the very edge and almost hooked one. Damn. Yeah, just like that, that's what I do. So I get the lure out of the snag, but apparently there was a fish in there, damn it. So there's definitely some fish in here, but not the size that I'm after. Okay guys, that ends today's little trip. Um, managed to catch, I think, one small Australian bass, probably 20 centimeters long. And it was pretty good to explore this new little spot. I thought there'd be a little bit more bigger fish, but there was a lot of pretty pretty small fish tapping up the lures, but yeah, only the one biggish one. So yeah, it was a good day exploring. Um, we are going to go fishing tomorrow again in this similar area with my mate Eli. So that should be pretty fun. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video of me getting rained on and the whole weather and everything, just like this video. Um, really helps. I love fishing so it doesn't really bother me. Um, at least I caught a fish. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.